What's up guys, I'm Jeff, the founder of Worldwide Cyclery, and today we're gonna go over the top five best and most relevant ways to transport your mountain bike. So we're gonna start this out with my favorite and preferred method to transport a mountain bike. And unfortunately, it's only applicable to people with pickup trucks. But if you're a mountain biker, you probably have one. And the number one way for me, tailgate pad. So those things range from about 100, 120 up to usually like, I think 170. A um, lot of good ones out these days. They used to not have straps on the back of them, but most all of them do. I would highly recommend if you're buying one, get one with straps. That way when you put it on the truck, your bike doesn't go sliding around or crashing into the other bikes next to it. So tailgate pad, simple as this. Throw your bike on there like that. Again, strap goes over the down tube. And the thing is in there nice and sturdy and it's super simple. So that's why it's my favorite. You can always run a, a cable lock from like a sort of a tie down point in your bed, run it through the bike, anything like that. But taking the bike on and off is super easy and simple. And that's why for me, tailgate pad is number one. Oh. <laughs> Just bleep that out and go to the next one. So this is a hitch rack, and to me, other than a tailgate pad, this is the next best way to carry your bike. You do, of course, need a tow hitch on your car. Uh, I believe they make smaller ones, inch and a quarter, and then two inch ones. Most rack manufacturers make their racks to fit either size hitch, and then there's adapters, of course, as well. So this is a Kuat Sherpa 2.0. Kuat, in my opinion, is the best rack brand out there. They're my favorites. There is a lot of other cool brands that make good racks. Uh, one Up USA, Thule, Yakima, Rocky Mounts, a lot of good ones out there. But to me, Kuat is awesome, and I'll show you guys how this one works right here. That's all, folks. So as you can see, pretty easy to put bikes on a good rack like this. And this car actually also has a Kuat pivot. And the point of that is so you can pivot these bikes out here so you can open the door on your car. So another option, of course, is roof racks. To be honest, I'm not really a fan of roof racks, but they are sometimes your only option for certain cars. Um, they're usually sold in different pieces. You got your footbeds, you got your bars, and you got the actual uh, attachment that you put your bike on. There is some downsides of roof racks. Of course, insulation's a bit challenging. You can see on this car right here, uh, this got a little messed up. It slid back when uh, our buddy Colin, who owns this car, was going about 70 miles an hour on the freeway and the thing slid back, scratched up his paint pretty good. The other thing about these roof racks is, uh, well, when you're short like me, it's kind of hard to get the bike on there and uh, you can watch that now. So that's that, um, not the easiest to put on there. This one is cool, Yakima front letter. It does have a built-in lock, uh, which is pretty convenient. Another thing to remember with one of these, probably can't go in a parking garage, probably can't go through a drive through unless you wanna smash your bike. I've definitely seen some people that have had their bike on a roof rack and smashed them before. So pros and cons of the roof racks. Um, they do have a style component to them. If you're a Subaru person, Subi gang, uh, you probably like roof racks and just have one even though you don't even use it. But, Hit track, in my opinion, for something like this, way better. So the number four way is bed mounts. A bunch of different brands make these. Our favorite one, Kuat Dirt Bag. It's 29 bucks. We sell it with free shipping. Um, pros and cons to these things, they're probably the cheapest mount you can do and, and sort of organize. Um, 
You do have to drill into your truck beds sometimes. Some truck beds actually have holes already pre-drilled in them. You can use these little mounts for a lot of different reasons. You can put them in your garage, you can put them on your motorhome, um, on your trailer, in your box trailer. So there's a lot of different uses for these things, but you basically mount them somewhere and then your fork slides over there. So you do have to take your front wheel off, but again, 29 bucks for a single mount is pretty uh, good price point. One downside to racks where you have to take your front wheel off. Don't forget your front wheel. So the last and final option is a trunk rack. Um, this is an option if you've got a small sedan. A lot of different brands make these. Pretty cheap. This is a Saris Bones. This is definitely the most popular trunk rack that has been around for a long time. They're 175 bucks. To be honest, this type of rack I would, I would never use this, not, not with a nice mountain bike. I think if you have bikes sort of under a couple thousand, under a thousand dollars, this is completely acceptable. Um, for bikes over a couple thousand dollars, and especially carbon bikes, I would not, not use this at all. But I'll show you guys how it works. Alex Knott, I kind of made fun of you for uh, having this type of bike rack and putting a really expensive bike on your car. Can you, uh, can you tell us why you think it's acceptable? Yeah, because I've been doing it for five years and I've had zero issues. And I get better gas mileage because it's behind the car. It's quiet and I can see it at all times and know if it falls off. <laughs> <laughs> Well, the five years part was legit. The see it and know if it falls off was a little worrisome. That means that to me says you think it might fall off. But uh, all right, fair enough. By the way, uh, cute mustache. It's new for him. He used to have a beard. What do you, how do you like the new mustache? You like it? It's getting a lot of attention. I don't know if it's all good, but you know, any press is good press. <laughs> oh, man. So let us know in the comments how you transport your mountain bike. Make sure to share this with any of your mountain bike riding buddies. Hit that subscribe button and we'll see you guys in the next one. Did I say that one articulately enough? <laughs>